Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create your own personalized donate button. You might want to use a donate button from PayPal onto your own website if you have a website in order to encourage visitors to perhaps appreciate the work that you provide, the content that you provide and buy you a coffee. I personally believe putting a donate button that PayPal has here, for example, is probably too generic, impersonal and bit demanding. So I prefer to make it a little bit more personal and in order to do that, I want to be able to create that image. I use, I'd like to use Canva. So if you haven't used this already, this is a free software that you can actually use in order to create any type of image you want for any social media platform, for example, on Facebook or Twitter. It's used for presentations and you can use any customized dimension that suits the type of image you want to create. So here's some examples of images I've already created and here I have my donate button that I use on my own website that we have here. So they can click into this, buy me a coffee if you love the show and it's a little bit more, bit more personalized and that will take the person who visits this and clicks it straight to a PayPal link that would be brought there anyway if you had used PayPal's own donate button. So let's create a design. So some of you might be familiar with this. I'm gonna take you through how to create that personalized image for you. So you can choose any dimension that's already here or create your own, as I had said. So let's take, I'll take a business card. Now what Canva would do is they'll give you pre-designed images that really works and looks really well. And you see the fold over here means that there's a back to it, but I'm only going to create one side. Now, if you don't like any of these, if you keep on scrolling down, what they'll provide you is like a blank canvas in which you can upload your own image. And you'll see it here very shortly. So this is fantastic, the amount of free content, free images that they give. Sometimes you might see a dollar sign on the bottom right, which means you have to pay for them. Wow, lots of great ones here. You'll see the blank canvas here and you can create your own if you have your own personalized image. But I'm just gonna take one of these. Let's say this one I like use this so there's a, a nice orange background I can change the color if I want to just click on the image pick a color and you'll be given a palette so you might like a stronger or lighter orange so click on the plus sign you can adjust this up and downwards if you like or if you have your own code you can put it in here or you like a bit of red so something that cap captures the attention of your audience and doesn't stray too far away from your own branding. Okay, I'll take the blue. Now what I, what I want to do is I want to delete this writing. So I just click on the writing and press delete and likewise everything else okay next I'd like to upload one of my images onto this and choose my own image and just place it into that file or into that box so where are we here we go don't like using that because I'd like it just keep the circle so I'm just gonna get rid of that and in order to get a circle I'm just gonna type in circle into the search bar and I want a circle with a blank canvas that I can work with so you'll see it almost looks scenic like this here so I want to drag that in readjust it 
And if you try, what's great about Canva is they also give you give you a line in which it allows you to center it. Okay, so you see it disappears and bringing it down will allow you to center. If you want it exactly in the middle, just drag it across and they'll automatically find that center point. So now I can put in my image and it'll cut those corners for me. And that's exactly what I want here. Now I just want to mention that I'd like them to buy me a coffee and perhaps put in a heart and a, an image of a coffee cup. So let's find that coffee cup for a moment. So I want to go into elements and what elements would do is they'll give me some images and lines and arrows and so on that I might like to use. So I'd like to use the icons and get a coffee cup icon. So I might like to scroll through each of these. There's quite a few here. So you might like to use, you don't have to use a coffee cup, but you could ask them to buy you, for example, a beer or a milkshake, uh, put in an image of a skateboard if you want to try and raise money to buy you that or fruit, for example. So anything in particular, something different, but I'm going to look for that coffee cup. I like this image of the coffee cup. It's a universal icon. Yeah, I'm sure everybody knows what it means. And I'd like to perhaps stick a heart in the middle of that cup to show my love and appreciation for a donation and vice versa. That the visitor to your content, your website, also shows that appreciation. And I want to match up perhaps those two circles. So I just want to readjust to make sure that those dimensions are the same. And there we have it there. All the lines are matching up exactly as I want them to. Okay, now I need to find a heart. And I think the heart is easier to find if I just type it in. And again, I want to find something simple and abstract, and I'll use this. Again, a circle within it. And I want to make that small and put it inside a cup. Now, sometimes you won't get it exactly, so use your arrow keys to move it up and down, left and right, until you're happy of the location within the cup and I'm quite happy with that. Now I know the colors aren't the best so you might want to change the color of the background of this blue and match it up with the yellow of the circle that you just created and that could work for some. Next I want to put in some text. Buy me a coffee. I know it sounds cheeky. readjust the font size and change the actual font and for this one what I use is Cooper Hewitt I'm just playing around in order to have it take up a nice portion of the card or the image here. I might go smaller again. Let's stick the very bit. Why not now? And I'm going to use the color that I use in the cup. So buy me a coffee. Click on that and copy it to save me from looking for all the font and the font sizes again. Drag that down. So 
if you love the show. So you might like to play around with this if you want to center the image, for example, just dragging it out here. And there's your personalized donate button that you can put anywhere on your website and check out the next video where I will show you how to connect this up to PayPal and put it onto your own WordPress site. And don't forget to change the title of this. Just click on whatever is written up here. Copy donate button. And download. JPEG for the web. And there you have it. You can open it up. And you have your JPEG ready for installation on your WordPress site.